Welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to look at food and cooking. It's not my speciality, but we'll try. Um, so here we have some ways of cooking. You can boil something in the saucepan, which means heat it in water, heat it up, warm it up in water until it boils, until it reaches 100 degrees and boils and the food is cooked in the water. So you can boil something in the saucepan. You can also simmer th something. You normally leave the soup to simmer and it means just leave it a little bit boiling. Not violently boiling, but just a little bit boiling, just before the boil, um, when you leave something to simmer. So it's another verb like boil, but not so extreme. Fry something in the frying pan. It means cook it in oil. So you usually fry something in the frying pan. Yeah, you put oil in the frying pan and you fry it maybe bacon maybe steak maybe something else you can bake something in the oven you only really bake cake and biscuits um, and bread related things you can bake bread as well um, but you roast vegetables and meat so you can roast chicken or roast turkey in the oven you can also roast vegetables roast potatoes roast carrots in the oven um, you can also cook things on the hob and you put things on the hob and you take them off the hob okay remember that put on and take off are opposites just like with cloves they're opposites but you put something in the oven and you take it out of the oven so notice that put in and take out like always are opposites um, okay you can also mix the ingredients together remember the ingredients is the list of um, different food you need for the recipes to make the recipes um, you also stir now stir isn't is is less violent than mix mix is you normally use a whisk to mix the ingredients together you certainly do if it's pancakes or something like that you use a, ri a, a whisk to mix the egg and the flour together but if you're just stirring something you're doing it slowly and you also stir a cup of tea when you uh, are stirring the sugar okay you can pour your mixture into a bowl now pour just means when you put liquid from one container into another container that is what you mean by pour but a bowl I want to make, be, be clear a plate is flat a bowl is like this you eat cereal or porridge from a bowl um, or soup okay you can chop onions and carrots that means go like this with a hard cutting motion um, we normally say cut the bread but we say chop onions chop carrots um, you peel potatoes that means peel the skin off the vegetable peel off um, peel the potatoes you grate the cheese which means take a grater a cheese grater I forgot to write that one up here a cheese grater um, take a cheese grater and grate the cheese <laughs> make it into little bits maybe to put cheese on your pizza or something like that you may then sprinkle the cheese on your pizza or sprinkle some herbs on the top of the pizza sprinkle whatever you want but it's got to be little and it's when you do that on top you add something but by just picking it up and normally it's herbs perhaps parsley perhaps dill okay um and lastly you can drain your rice in a sieve which is also up here a sieve drain the rice in a sieve a sieve is the place where you put the rice uh, in order that the water drains away falls away so it's how you get rid of the water after you have boiled the rice you drain it then in a sieve okay before we do recipes let's go on to utensils you can also have a chopping board for chopping your carrots or onions you have a sieve for draining the rice you have a ladle which is for taking soup out of a saucepan and putting it into a bowl you need a ladle to take the soup out of the saucepan and put it into a bowl um, okay you also have a whisk for mixing the ingredients as we've already done for example flour and eggs in pancakes you have a baking tray and this is what you put in the oven um, often when you're perhaps you're baking cakes or, or something like that you need to put them on the baking tray so it's just a tray which you can put in the oven um, you don't have to just cook uh, you don't have to just bake on a baking tray you could do something else you could just be roasting something in the baking tray um, but we call it usually a baking tray casserole dish is much bigger and it's often made out of ceramic um, 
and uh, it will hold the whole casserole if you're making something together you're making a nice stew or a nice casserole where you're you want all the juice from the vegetables and the and the meat to mix together um, then you put it all in a casserole dish dish so it's much bigger um, a spatula um, and I believe in in the UK sometimes it's called an uh, a fish slice or an egg slice um, me and my brother always called it a burger flipper when we were younger because we didn't really use it for much else but this is what you use perhaps when you're frying eggs in the frying pan you use the spatula to move them around or to take them out um, and a cheese grater you use for grating the cheese okay verbs now when I eat my soup I like a lot of bread with a lot of butter on the bread and I like to dip my bread in the soup it's just how I like to eat soup um, if your food has gone cold you might like to heat it up in the microwave or you might like to warm it up in the microwave um, some food can be very heavy in your stomach and we say it fills you up yeah it fills you up um, if you decide to eat not at home then you eat out and um, we've got some good verbs actually for eating itself if you wolf something down you eat it very quickly um, you can also say gulp something down it means swallow it very quickly um, and uh, if you knock something over if you knock a glass over then it means that you spill a drink all over the place so you spill something over it's very very similar spilling is just the the verb that's used for the liquid covering an area coming out of the container and covering in it covering an area knock is more about the container you knock over the glass um, but you spill the wine um, boil over uh, this is when you're boiling something and the water goes over the edges it boils over um, and I said in another lesson you can also use this for conflict when it goes over the board or something like that it boils over um, okay lastly to spit something out perhaps sometimes you um, don't like what's in your mouth and so you spit it out if it's if it's disgusting if it's not delicious if it's not tasty you might spit it out um, lastly we've got a, a good idiom here to bite off more than you can chew if you take on a very difficult task perhaps um, a project at work which is just too demanding for you to deal with um, and you're not able to get things done on time you're not able to you know uh, um, reach your targets or whatever then you have bitten off more than you can chew um, and it means you know you've put too much in your mouth and, and you can't chew it all so you probably end up like my son and spit it out <laughs> that's what he does with when he gets a big mouth full of food <laughs> okay lastly recipes for breakfast something like scrambled eggs this just means eggs which have been mixed uh, in on the frying pan to make a kind of mixed up a mixture um, it's not when the egg is fried or boiled which would be the other two ways you could have bacon burnt to a crisp it's just an expression to mean very very burnt very well done some people like it like that not me um, and you can have toast dripping with butter um, this would mean it's covered in butter there's loads and loads of butter and at the weekend I actually did some cooking for a change I don't usually but I cooked some dumplings so for dumplings I needed to make the pastry first and I used flour eggs and water to make the pastry I then um, I'd been to the shops and bought some beef and pork mince um, because we were going to mix it together and we added some onions as well um, and then I put the beef and pork mince into the pastry into little bits of pastry um, and then once I got the balls of pastry with the mince inside and the onions I boiled the dumplings not for long for about five minutes with some bay leaves I sprinkled some herbs on top and they were actually delicious okay um thanks for watching there i hope those verbs have been useful for you um please like the video and i hope to see you all soon